Question number 101. You have an Azure DevOps pipeline named Pipeline 1 that is used to deploy an app. Pipeline 1 includes a step that will create an Azure AI services account. You need to add the step to Pipeline 1 that will identify the created Azure AI services account. The solution must minimize development effort. Which Azure command line interface, CLI command, should you run? Option A, AZ resource link. Option B, AZ cognitive services account network rule. Option C, AZ cognitive services account so. Option D, AZ account list. The correct answer is option C, AZ Cognitive Services Account So. The AZ Cognitive Services Account So command is used to retrieve details about an existing Azure AI Cognitive Services Account, including its name, resource group, location, and endpoint. This is the simplest and most direct way to identify the newly created account in your Azure DevOps pipeline with minimal development effort. The other commands are not suitable for identifying the account itself. AZ resource link manages link between resources. AZ cognitive services account network rule manages access rules. And AZ account list lists Azure subscriptions, not services. Question number 102. You are developing a text processing solution. You have the following function. You call the function and use the following string as the second argument. Our tour of London included a visit to Buckingham Palace. What will the function return? Option A. London and Buckingham Palace only. Option B. Tour and visit only. Option C. London and tour only. Option D. Our tour of London included visit to Buckingham Palace. The correct answer is option A. London and Buckingham Palace only. The recognized entities method of the Azure Text Analytics SDK is used to identify named entities such as locations, organizations, or other proper nouns in a given text. In this case, London and Buckingham Palace are recognized as proper nouns representing specific entities. Other words like tour and visit are not named entities and will not be returned by this method. Question number 103. You have 1000 scanned images of handwritten survey responses. The surveys do not have a consistent layout. You have an Azure subscription that contains an Azure AI document intelligence resource named AIDoc1. You open Document Intelligence Studio and create a new project. You need to extract data from the survey responses. The solution must minimize development effort. To where should you upload the images? Option A, an Azure Cosmos DB account. Option B, an Azure File Share. Option C, an Azure Storage account. The correct answer is Option C, an Azure Storage account. Azure AI Document Intelligence requires input documents, including scanned images, to be stored in an Azure Storage account for processing. You upload the images to a container within the Storage account and connect it to a Document Intelligence project in the studio. This allows you to label and train a custom model, especially useful since the servers do not have a consistent layout. 
Azure Cosmos DB and Azure files are not supported as input sources for document intelligence. Question number 104. You have 1000 scanned images of handwritten survey responses. The surveys do not have a consistent layout. You have an Azure subscription that contains an Azure AI document intelligence resource named AI Doc One. You open Document Intelligence Studio and create a new project. You need to extract data from the survey responses. The solution must minimize development effort. Which type of model should you use? Option A Custom Neural. Option B Custom Template. Option C Identity Document ID. The correct answer is option A, custom neural. The custom neural model is best suited for documents with variable or inconsistent layouts, such as handwritten survey responses. It uses machine learning to generalize pattern across different formats, minimizing the need to define rigid templates. This significantly reduces development effort when working with unstructured or diverse documents. In contrast, custom template is ideal for fixed layout and identity document ID is a pre-built model specifically for structured ID documents like passport or driver's licenses. Question number 105. You have an Azure subscription that contains an Azure AI document intelligence resource named AI Doc One. You have an app named App One that uses AI Doc One. App One analyzes business card by calling business card model fee 2.1. You need to update App One to ensure that the app can interpret QR codes. The solution must minimize administrative effort. What should you do first? Option A. Upgrade the business card model to V3.0. Option B. Implement the read model. Option C. Deploy a custom model. Option D. Implement the contract model. The correct answer is Option A. Upgrade the business card model to V3.0. The ability to interpret QR codes on business card was introduced in business card model V3.0. Since App1 currently uses V2.1, upgrading to V3.0 enables this functionality without requiring you to build or train a custom model, minimizing administrative effort. Implementing the read model or contract model would not extract structured business card data and deploying a custom model involves more development and labeling work which goes against the requirement to minimize effort. Just a quick reminder, if you don't have time to watch these videos and instead download all questions and answers, Feel free to purchase them on Buy Me A Coffee page. I have shared the link below. Question number 106. You have an Azure subscription that contains an Azure OpenAI resource named OpenAI1 and a user named User1. You need to ensure that User1 can upload datasets to OpenAI1 and fine-tune the existing models. The solution must follow the principle of least privilege. Which role should you assign to user 1? Option A. Cognitive Services OpenAI Contributor Option B. Cognitive Services Contributor Option C. Cognitive Services OpenAI User Option D. Contributor The correct answer is 
Option A. Cognitive Services OpenAI Contributor The Cognitive Services OpenAI Contributor role provides the necessary permissions for managing Azure OpenAI resource, including uploading datasets and fine-tuning modules. It aligns with the principle of list privilege by granting only the specific access needed for OpenAI-related tasks. The Cognitive Services Contributor and Contributor roles offer broader access than required, while Cognitive Services OpenAI user only allows querying models, not managing datasets or fine-tuning. Question number 107. You have an Azure subscription that contains an Azure OpenAI resource. You deploy the GPT-4 model to the resource. You need to ensure that you can upload files that will be used as grounding data for the model. Which two type of resources should you create? Option A, Azure AI Document Intelligence. Option B, Azure Blob Stories. Option C, Azure AI Bot Service. Option D, Azure AI Search. Option E, Azure SQL. The correct answers are Option B, Azure Blob Stories. Option D, Azure AI Search. To use grounding data, also known as Retrieval Augmented Generation or RAG, with GPT-4 in Azure OpenAI. You need to upload files to Azure Blob Stories, which serves as the data source. Then, Azure AI search indexes and makes this content searchable. GPT-4 can use this index data to provide grounded, contextually relevant responses. This setup enables effective grounding without needing custom training. Azure AI Document Intelligence, Bot Service, and SQL are not required for grounding via file uploads. Question number 108. You are building an app that will analyze text by using the Azure AI language service. You need to configure the app to mark the telephone number and email details in a given document. You need to complete the following code. What should you choose for drop-down one? Option A. Recognize linked entities. Option B. Recognize pi entities. Option C. Single label classify. The correct answer is Option B. Recognize pi entities. This method detects personally identifiable information, PII, such as phone numbers, email addresses, and other sensitive data in text. Since the goal is to make telephone number and email details, using recognize by entities ensures that these elements are identified and can be redacted or replaced in the output. Question number 109. You are building an app that will analyze text by using the Azure AI language service. You need to configure the app to mark the telephone number and email details in a given document. You need to complete the following code. What should you choose for drop-down to? Option A. Redacted text. Option B. Statistic. Option C. Warnings. The correct answer is Option A. Redacted text. The recognize by entities method returns detected personally identifiable information, PII, and provides a redacted text property that replaces sensitive information with marked characters. Since the requirement is to mark telephone number and email addresses, 
accessing redacted text ensures that the final output contains the anonymized version of the original text. Question number 110. You are building a social media messaging app. You need to identify in real time the language used in messages. Which SDK package should you install? Option A azure.ai.translation.text Option B Microsoft.cognitiveservices.speech Option C Azure.ai.translation.speech Option D Azure.ai.translation.document The correct answer is Option A Azure.ai.translation.text The Azure.ai.translation.text SDK is designed for real-time text translation and language detection, making it ideal for identifying the language of social media messages as they are sent. It supports fast, cloud-based detection and translation for a wide range of languages. The other options are focused on speech translation or document translation, which are not suitable for short text-based messages in real-time scenarios.